because I instilled in them an image of a black man in a positive way where they can see the swag and the style and the flavor and not and, and understand that this man is not a bad man just because he moves a certain way just because he has a certain flavor because he has a certain background that 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 this man is a good man I taught them how to look at the character of a man but most importantly I taught them to love themselves and their own kind we don't teach our daughters to love their own kind we teach them to love black women and to hate black men. We teach the boys to love black women and to hate black men. And we wonder why we have such a dysfunction and disconnect in the so-called black community. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. I told y'all, no disrespect to white women, but I, I told y'all years ago before I, I married my wife, I'm not marrying anybody other than a black woman. <clears throat> it's not a hatred toward white women, it's just a love for black women. I, I, had, I always had a loyalty and a commitment to black women because I had a loyalty and commitment to my mother. <clears throat> when I was 16 years old, my mother, um, she told me, she she uh, let me know that black women have a hard time finding, you know, quality men to marry. Now, whether, whether that was true or not, you can debate that, but that was her perception. And at that moment, I said to myself, when I get married, I'm going to make sure I marry a black woman. And so, um, so that was <clears throat> my personal perspective. But everybody in my family doesn't feel that way. You know, um, I got, I got, I got drilled on, on Twitter because um, I have a grandson that's half white, you know, and, um, and my, my daughter, who's my adopted daughter, and I, I love her, I love her to death, love her to the ends of the earth. You know, she married a very nice white boy from Denmark, a super nice guy. You know, he respects the family. He understands I'm, I'm the leader of the family and he doesn't come in with that racism nonsense. So that as long as you're not trying to oppress me, I'm cool. Like, I don't dislike white people. I don't. I just don't like oppression. So when you so you could be white. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you come in here with that white supremacy stuff, then we have an issue. Right. He doesn't do that. Right. He kisses the ring. He gives respect. He does. He treats her well. And it's fine. So let me get this right. So let me get this right. His mother was successful at instilling in him a type of loyalty towards black women. But he was not successful in instilling in his own black daughter a loyalty towards black men. He won't marry a, a, a woman of another race because of his mom. But his own daughter married a white boy. Let me tell you what happened. This is real talk. He couldn't instill in his daughter loyalty towards black men because he has no loyalty towards black men. And this is the problem I have with these kinds of dudes that they always come around talking to black men when they have a certain visceral in their heart towards black men. I bet you dollars to donuts that he spent his whole time raising his black daughter, telling her how no good black men are. Stay away from these black men. Don't like these kind of black men. Only like these kind of black men. And the black man, the image of the black man in her mind that was acceptable for her to marry was essentially a white boy, a, a, a white man in black skin. That was the only thing I bet was acceptable for her to marry according to the way her black daddy, who is so loyal to black women, raised his daughter to be. See, we have no loyalty towards us, bruh. Your first loyalty needs to be towards you, black man. You. Not so much you as a group. You as an individual. Be loyal to yourself, man. You don't marry nobody just because. Y'all all sit around and talk about how marriage is the most important investment you ever make and how is this and that financial and this. Y'all got all these talking points around why you should marry a black woman that don't make sense. When the fact of the matter is, you cannot marry anybody just because, regardless of their race. 
You should marry a white girl just because she white. You should marry an Asian girl just because she's Asian. You should marry a, 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 a woman just because she's not black. You should not marry anybody just because. You should marry a person that best suit you, that best fit you. That's it. That's it. That's it. So what you heard this dude out of his own mouth, you know, you got to read in between the lines. That was a small clip from Dr. Boyce Watkins. He talking about go hit the rest of the interview on his website. I don't need to hit the rest. I know the types. I know the types. I know how, listen to him talk about how he, he, was, he said that he wasn't going to marry nobody but a black woman because of his mama. That tell me a type. So, and you know, if his mama had that much influence over him, then she also instilled in him a hatred towards black men. Because this is what they do. She is the victim. Black women got a harder time. And he, you, you know he, you know he said, that's a perception, it might not be true. You know it's not true. They don't have a harder time. They harder to deal with. But you gotta take her side. So now you gotta, you, you got the situation. I don't know if you got biological children. You got an adopted black daughter that you raised, but yet you raised her and she went on and got her a white boy. There's something wrong with that. The daughter should want a man close to her father. If you do something right, she should want a man that you approve of. Which means the kind of man that you approve of, she was having a hard time finding one that was black. Because in essence, what you was telling your daughter was the same subliminal message that your mama was telling you. That black men are no good. That black men ain't worth nothing. Don't mess with a black man. This is what you told your daughter. You know you told her that. You know this is what you put in her head. You know this is what you instilled in her. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about or what this dude talking about. You know exactly what you put in your daughter. This is what you put in your daughter to not mess with black men. So now here we go down the line. She gets up. She go marry a white boy. You find yourself trying to explain how the white boy cool and all that. It don't matter. You don't know how cool he is or not cool. You're not married to him. You don't know how he carry himself or conduct himself in private with your daughter. You're not there. You don't know. But I, what I can tell you is that his rhetoric allowed for his daughter to make that decision. I can tell you that he probably had his daughter under the mindset that no black man was good enough for her. Because if you look at my video, I talked about this already on the video. It, it, it's the video I posted October 31st or something like that, um, 2022. It says an apology to black men. There's two parts of it. I talked about how we actually caused this problem. Black men, we contributed. Because we told our daughters that no black man is good enough. We act like we didn't want our daughters dating a black man. We got such a hatred instilled in us for our own. And we wonder about black men suffering. Dr. Tia Son Johnson, he's running around here, but he got a son. Say he had a daughter. He talked all this stuff about black men, how we're treated. Say he had a daughter. You think he would be telling his daughter to get with a black man? No. No. He wouldn't tell her not to, but that would be the inference. That, that would be the only conclusion she could draw because he would be so cautionary about why, she, why, why his daughter should not just be messing with these black dudes, like all of them so evil, all of them so wicked. He would say the same thing if he had a daughter. He has a son. So he's talking differently. All the black men with daughters, they all try to tell their daughters to stay away from black men. This is what they tell them. We did that, bro. I didn't do that with my daughter. Nah. All my stepdaughters, I, I didn't, I didn't, no, no girl, no little girl under my care was raised to hate black men. None of them, which is why the step, the stepchildren are all grown, gone, they got children, but all of them are married to black dudes. All of them. Because I instilled in them an image of a black man in a positive way, where they can see the swag and the style and the flavor and not 
and, and understand that this man is not a bad man just because he moves a certain way, just because he has a certain flavor, because he has a certain background. That 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 this man is a good man. I taught them how to look at the character of a man. But most importantly, I taught them to love themselves and their own kind. We don't teach our daughters to love their own kind. We teach them to love black women and to hate black men. We teach the boys to love black women and to hate black men. And we wonder why we have such a dysfunction and disconnect in the so-called black community. It ain't never gonna get right. It ain't never gonna get better. It ain't, it, it, it is what it is and it, it ain't changing. It is time for a total split off. Because why try to reconcile with these kinds of people? There is no ground that you could cover with them where, I, where I'm gonna see eye to eye with none of these dudes. Now I'm trying to get y'all to understand that all you dudes coming at me trying to call me a coon because you don't like what I'm saying about these prosperity pimps. Look man, you say what you want. I'm not here trying to save you all because I understand I can't save all of y'all. I'm only trying to help the few that I can help. And we are going to try to do the things that we need to do to make a way for the future generations. It only takes a few of us. I don't need all of y'all. Most of you dudes are too far gone in the matrix to be unplugged anyway. Didn't you see the movie where they say it's dangerous to unplug a mind at a certain stage? And yeah, most people on YouTube is way past that mental stage of unplugging, but not everybody was that deep. The people that wasn't that deep into it, that can hear my words and accept them for what I'm saying, I can get to them. I could talk to them. I could work with them. The rest of you dudes, I, I don't care what y'all do, bro. Y'all are already doomed. Y'all are already done. My job is to stop y'all from spreading y'all virus onto other people. That's my job. The virus of self-hatred. The virus of conformity. The virus of capitulating. I need to stop y'all from spreading that to other people, to other black men. The weak talk y'all do that y'all hide behind social economics. The weak talk y'all do that y'all hide behind being a high value man and all this stuff. The abusive and oppressive views y'all have towards women that y'all hide behind tradition and all this kind of stuff. Nah, man. I, 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 I don't need to eradicate y'all. Y'all are going to die off because y'all can't function. Y'all are chaotic. Y'all are in misery. Y'all cannot survive. Y'all are going to die off. My job is to find the people that's going to take us to the future. Because y'all are all doomed. Y'all have gone as far as y'all are going to go within this system. It is all downhill from here. And right now is a good time for me to meet my kind and we start pulling out of this thing. I'm talking my kind, be they men, women, any race, it don't matter. My kind. My first kind is my skin kind. But not all skin folks is your kin folk. I got other kinds of people, other relatives. Just like you got brothers and sisters, you also have cousins, don't you? And you also have friends, close friends that be like brothers. So all of these are your kind. They don't have to be your relative. They don't have to be brothers and sisters. They could be cousins. And they could be, cousins would be like uh, West Indians, uh, Africans, you know. Cousins could be like uh, Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? Or they could be friends like Middle Easterners or, 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 or even white folks, you know. Those, that's what I'm talking about. It's levels to this stuff. But yeah, we got to start it first, though. But my point of saying all that is that I, I'm, I'm not worried about all you dudes, man. Y'all are lost already. Because what he said, I would even got on, 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 on online and said that, man. I, I'd be too embarrassed that, that I let my mama brainwash me to have some kind of undying, unflinching love and dedication towards black women who have nothing for black men, by the way. Yet, my own daughter goes off and marry a white man. My own daughter goes off and marry, tells you what she thinks about her father. That tells you what she thinks about her father. A daughter that you raised. I'm not talking about a daughter raised by a single mom by herself. A daughter that you raised. That sat there and watched the sacrifices and the hard work and the dedication of her black daddy. Day in, day out, went on and married a white boy.
Now, I know y'all can say again, here we go again. Well, Kush, your wife ain't black, you know what I'm saying? So what you say about that? As I said in the last video, I actually, I think I cut that part out because I didn't want to make it too much about my relationship. Y'all already say I'm bragging too much. I'm trying to make it about mine. But truth be told, my wife is like the women in my family. So it's not that I picked my wife because she's not black. I actually picked my wife because she is like my mom. She is like my grandmother. She is like my aunts and my great aunts. She is like the women in my family. And that's why she's still here with me. So reverse that. Why did he pick a black woman only? Because of his mama. And why did his daughter go pick a white boy? Because of his mom and him. It's reflections, people. Can't y'all see that these are reflections? See, y'all wanna you see it's convenient when you wanna simplify it, like in my situation. You know, it's convenient to try to put me in a in a bucket that you could just kick around and, and call names. But when I explain it, that my wife is actually like the women in my family, the women I grew up respecting, she's like them. So truthfully, I got a woman like my mom. I got a woman like my grandma. I got a woman like the women in my family. His daughter got a man like her dad. His daughter got a man based on the teachings of her grandmother. His daughter went and got a white man. What you see in her is, is a direct reflection of how that girl was raised. Just like what you see in me is a direct reflection of how I was raised. My wife is proof of how I was raised. Not her race, her character, her ways. That's, she, she is proof of how I was raised. That boy's daughter, that man's daughter is proof of how he raised his daughter. And this is how so many of us do it. That's why I did that video, my apology, or an apology to black men, something like that. It's two parts to it. The first part is like four minutes long. It's like a little intro area. And then I get into the meat of it in the second video. But, but I realized that we let y'all down. My generation of black men, of, of, of fathers, we, we basically preached a one-sided doctrine from the house that basically it was all about the daughters and never about the sons. We basically taught the daughters every black man was no good. We taught the sons that every black man was no good, that they would never be good enough. We taught the daughters that they would never find a black man good enough. I mean, and, and what else could the daughters do but grow up and start trying to seek out a white man? Either a white man in black skin or a white man actually. What else could they do? It's our fault. It's the fault of people like this. It's the fault of people like Boyce Watkins. It's their fault. It's the fault of the Vice shows, Phil Scott, you know, when the African diaspora show, you know. It's their fault. Because every time they open their mouth, it's the fault of people like O'Shea, although he ain't got no kids, but it's, you know, it's their fault. Because every time they open their mouth, it's always about pool can Ray Always about pool can Ray Always about pool can Ray As if that's all, that that's the only kind of black men we have in America are Pookas and Ray Ray's or, or, or high value men. That's it. And it's strange that the women don't like the high value men, so y'all get mad. They, all they want is these no good thugs. No, they want a man to act like a man. That's what they want. They want a man to act like a man. They don't want you dudes that make everything about money. Anyway, he proves the point that I've been making. You know what I'm saying? What you see is a reflection of his relationship with his mother. That's all it was. The way he raised his daughter was based on his relationship to his mother. The way his daughter married was based on the teachings that came down from his mama, that came down from him. Came down through him from his mama. He raised his daughter in the same mentality. And now his daughter got a white boy. Shame on you, bro. You want to be pro-black, talk about how you loyal to a black woman while your daughter didn't even want to marry a black man that stayed loyal to black women. She didn't even want a man like you. Or did she go get a man like you? Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out of here, Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long.